Given the number of horsepower prices and speeds that you're about to witness, I'm lacking adjectives to label these cars. On today's menu are the most bonkers newcomers of the automotive world. We present to you the mega hyper supercars of tomorrow. Prepare your ballistic parachutes, because regular brakes will not be enough to stop us. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy the ride. Remitz Nevera R the R in the name of the new Remitz reflects the three symbolic pillars of the Croatian brand. It's radical, rebellious and relentless. The follow-up model to the world's fastest electric car shifts from the Hyper GT philosophy to the Hyper Sports car. The Navarro R boosts the output of its quad motor powertrain to 2107 horsepower and it is paired to the new generation 108 kWh performance-oriented battery. The straight-line sprinting becomes even quicker. 0 to 60 now takes 1.74 seconds, while 0 to 186 is clocked at just 8.66 seconds. The next-generation all-wheel torque factoring system is paired to the advanced EVO 2 carbon ceramic brakes with a silicone matrix for extreme cornering. Additionally, there is a large rear wing combined with an aggressive aero package that improves downforce by 15% and aerodynamic efficiency by 10. The R wears Michelin Cup 2 tires, and this new rubber reduces understeer by 10%, while the lateral grip is enhanced by 5. Bugatti Tourbillon the heir to the legendary Chiron is named after a tourbillon mechanism that once revolutionized chronology. Despite preserving the traditional Bugatti design, the newcomers claim to have no shared components with its forebears. Given the Tremets took over Bugatti back in 2021, the French brand has been doomed to get electrified at some point. Therefore, the first hybridized Bugatti abandons the record-breaking W16 engine in favor of a plug-in hybrid setup consisting of an 8.35-liter naturally aspirated Cosworth V16, an 8-speed DCT transmission, three electric motors, and a 25-kWh battery. Its combined output surpasses the old quad-turbo and yields 1,800 horsepower. Plus, as a bonus, the tourbillon has 37 miles of electric range. 3D printing played a major role in cutting the weights of the tourbillon. It got a lightweight forged aluminum multi-link suspension from Divergent Technologies and a T800 carbon composite body. The interior of this Bugatti will forever remain timeless, since all of the dashboard components have skeletonized mechanical design. But don't worry, Gen Z, there is still a retractable infotainment screen. Hennessy Venom F5 Stealth Series and F5 M Roadster. In 2025, Hennessy Special Vehicles continues to expand the F5 lineup with the ultra exclusive versions in both coupe and convertible body styles. The former gets a three unit Stealth Series based on the track focused Revolution Venoms. The trio takes over 3,000 man hours to complete. The flawless carbon fiber body, chassis, paintwork, and bespoke interior have plenty of personalized easter eggs unique to each customer. In turn, the F5M Roadster is a slightly less rare but still a rather unique newcomer from the Texas-based hypercar manufacturer. Just like the rest of Venoms, it is powered by a 6.6-liter twin-turbo Fury V8 engine, but this time it is not controlled via an automatic transmission. Instead, Hennessy sends all 1,817 horses and 1,193 pound-feet of torque to the rear wheels via a six-speed gated manual, which makes it the world's most powerful car with a manual transmission. There will be only 12 owners of the F5M Roadsters, and they will get a unique aero package with a large rear fin and a 0.39 drag coefficient. Young Wang U9 BYD are not joking when they say that they can build your dreams. 
Who does not want an all-electric car with 1300 horsepower and a super-actuated hydraulic suspension that can make a jump? The U9 is manufactured by the luxury sub-brand of the Shenzhen giant, and it is going after the title of the world's most affordable hypercar. The Super Coupe gets a carbon fiber monocoque, scissor doors, McLaren Speedtail front fascia, and a huge rear spoiler. This model uses the high-performance BYD lithium iron phosphate battery technology, coupled with an 800-volt architecture and recharging capability of 500 kW. In essence, this means that 200 miles of the U9 range can be replenished in less than 10 minutes. The car has 12 active and passive aerodynamic attributes to optimize efficiency and downforce. Each wheel is controlled separately, and the unique Dysus X active body control suspension system, besides reacting to the slightest road surface changes, lets you drive on three wheels, do low rider tricks, and actually jump. Pagani Utopia Roadster Pagani has changed its design approach and now both coupe and convertible versions of their hypercars are being developed simultaneously. Therefore, the Roadster's main and only difference is the missing roof. The latter has a target design with two interchangeable removable panels. One is a hardtop and the other one is a softtop that can be stored within the car. Additional innovative feature of the convertible Utopia is hidden within the staggered 21 and 22 inch wheels. The Pirelli P0 Corsa Cyber tires have sensors which have the ability to communicate with the car's ABS, ESP, and traction control to ensure maximum performance and the highest level of safety based on the driving conditions. The Pagani Utopia Roadster continues to benefit from the collaboration with the Mercedes AMG. The hand-built 6-liter twin-turbo 60-degree V12 from the German engineers makes 864 horsepower and is paired with an X-Track 7-speed automated manual or a classic manual tranny. This masterpiece of a car will be released in 130 units. Due to 40 formulas of composite materials used in this hypercar, it weighs just 2,822 pounds and it is capable of bonkers performance feats. Nilu 27 This is the inaugural model from the new Nilu 27 startup launched by a renowned car designer. Named Nilu and limited to 15 units, the model sports an eclectic exterior with design elements inspired by the 1960s Formula One and Le Mans racers and classic Italian models. It adheres to form follows function philosophy and adopts a carbon fiber monocoque construction. The latter is complemented by lightweight aluminum alloy tubular subframes and a double wishbone pushrod suspension. The car rides on in-house designed wheels wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2R tires. The drivetrain of the Nilu is being developed and manufactured in cooperation with Hartley engines. The model forgoes electrification and gets an 80-degree V12 engine with 6.5-liter displacement. Offering over 1,000 horses, it aims to become the most powerful naturally aspirated hypercar in the world. The output is channeled exclusively to the rear wheels, and the car goes for an old-school feel offering a 7-speed open-gate longitudinally mounted manual gearbox as the only transmission option. We have got a lineup of new sports cars to be covered next week, so make sure to subscribe and like this episode not to miss it. Let's keep rolling! Pininfarina Wayne Enterprises Italy's Pininfarina collaborated with the Warner Bros. and Relevance International with the intention to release four hypercars worthy to be driven by the Cape Crusader. The Wayne Enterprises Special Editions commemorates the 85th anniversary of the comic book hero with four hyper two-seaters based on the Batista Coupe and the B95 Brachetta. The Gotham and Dark Knight Pininfarinas utilize the Remitz-derived powertrain, which is a 19-horsepower quad motor juiced by 120 kWh battery. The Batista and B95 models feature Wayne Enterprises-inspired HMI display upgrades with a voice resembling Alfred Pennyworth. The Batista offers new performance features like tailgate shark fins and aerodynamic improvements, along with the Wayne Enterprises logos. 
Both the Gotham and the Dark Knight models showcase unique interior and exterior designs, reflecting Bruce Wayne's persona. The Gotham models have tan leather interiors and Archanto Vittorio paint, while the Dark Knight models feature black Alcantara upholstery and Nero Profondo paint. Each model embodies Wayne Enterprises innovation and includes subtle references to Bruce Wayne's identity, like logos and custom seat embroidery. Red Bull RB17 Conceived by Red Bull racing designer Adrian Newey during the pandemic lockdown, this new hypercar is a track-only model, limited in production to 50 units. In naming, the RB17 follows the nomenclature of the team's Formula One racers. The car has a carbon fiber monocoque construction, tandem seating for two people, and an overall weight under 2,000 pounds. The racer measures nearly 197 inches long and 79 inches wide. It also gets three tire options, including specially designed slicks. Its bodywork adopts multiple air curtains and tunnels, a low setting rear wing with a massive diffuser, plus active aerodynamic elements to achieve the target downforce of 3,748 pounds at 115 mph. The power comes from a mid mounted 4.5 liter V10 engine from Cosworth that on its own produces 1,000 horses. Here, however, it does not have to do all the work, being assisted by a 200 horsepower electric motor that works in first gear and reverse. Total output is transferred to the rear wheels with the help of a carbon fiber 6-speed sequential transmission. According to Red Bull Racing, the gearbox was developed in-house, but it relies on gears made by Extra. The size of the battery that feeds this hybrid setup is yet to be confirmed. Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR LMH Aston Martin is gearing up to make a comeback to the top class of the 24-hour of Le Mans. The AMR LMH is on target to become the first hypercar to simultaneously compete in the WEC and IMSA classes in 2025, following its FIA homologation. The vehicle will be driven by the American Heart of Racing team, and it will be Aston Martin's attempt to win the title for the first time since 1959. The Valkyrie AMR LMH's race-tuned carbon fiber chassis is powered by a modified version of Cosworth's impressive 6.5-liter naturally aspirated V12 engine. In its standard form, the engine revs up to 11,000 rpm and produces over 1,000 bhp and produces over 1,000 horsepower. In this case, however, the power unit has been refined to be aligned with the hypercar class performance requirements and now it is designed to endure the demands of high-level endurance racing. At what point will carmakers stop pumping more and more horsepower into the powertrains? Is 2000 HP at the new limit or is it just a milestone to be passed in the upcoming models? Let's talk about hypercars of tomorrow in the comment section below. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and like this episode to help our channel grow. More exciting content is available through the links on the screen. As always, may the torque be with you!